Hello everyone, my name is Katja and welcome to my channel. This week we're doing a project for Annie Sloan and Redesign with Prima collaboration. For this collab, Annie Sloan gave us a couple transfers to choose from and a few colors to pair them with the transfers. I decided to go with pure white color and peaceful garden transfer. I had these tables sitting around for a while now and I wanted to give them a complete makeover. It's not that I didn't like them, I thought they were gorgeous, very artistic, but I wanted a modern and fresh look. So first thing I did is remove this hardware, which was not modern and fresh. It was very artistic and vintage. Then I started sending the ray stencil they had on the front drawers. I was pleasantly surprised to find out how hard it is to remove a 3D fiber paste uh, from the design with Prima, which is a really good thing because when you do ray stencil, you want to make sure that ray stencil is not going anywhere and you won't peel off your drawers. I was pleasantly surprised and happy that I said that, but not so happy because I had to send those front drawers for a really long time. Once I was done with sanding, I cleaned the tables and fill up the old holes on the drawers. And this is now where I turned this project that was supposed to be an easy one into a not so easy one because I don't know why I like to do that. <laughs> I guess I don't like simplicity. <laughs> These tables had these skirts that I wanted to get rid of because uh, apparently everybody's getting rid of the skirts on old dressers. So I wanted to follow the trend and get rid of the skirts. I was hammering the skirts off, but I don't really suggest doing that because I think there is a smarter and better way to do that. But since I'm not a woodworker, I just hammered that off and I had luck because I didn't destroy the tables. We decided to cut the bottom part on the tables completely. We are getting rid of this bottom part. We don't need it. Then we added the support under the tables, so we had where to add the legs later on. I added the wood filler and once it was dry, I sanded everything off. And now we can start painting. As I said earlier, I'm using Annie Sloan, a pure color. It's a snow white, white color. It's a snow white, white color. It's a snow white, white color. There you go. <laughs> it's a pure white color. It cannot be more pure than this. This is the brightest, the whitest you are going to get. 
I am painting in every which direction and I immediately knew I'm going to need a few coats to cover this gray. Going from gray to white, it's not always so easy, so we will need few coats for full coverage. I loved natural wood on the front drawers so much I wanted to keep it as is. So I only painted around the doors, around the trim, really. In general, Annie Sloan chalk paint can go over her clear wax, but if you're not feeling comfortable with that, just clean your wax first with mineral spirits and then paint over it. So that way you don't have nothing to worry about. I didn't remove it, I painted straight over wax, done so many times. I have pieces in my home that I did that too, so I felt comfortable with it. Here I'm adding the second coat. I wanted to add something fun to the side of the drawers, so when you open it, it's a nice little surprise. So I used my new stencil from Redesign with Prima collection that is called Sunlit Diamonds. And this stencil is perfect for modern makeovers. That was uh, my plan and that was my vision when I was designing it. Here we're applying a third coat, as I said, we are going to need few coats for solid coverage. And then Blue came to check on me and make sure the project is going good. He's a quality supervisor, so he makes sure everything is good and good quality. <laughs> And now I'm going to apply this beautiful, peaceful garden transfer. I thought this transfer is going to look gorgeous with this natural wood in the background. I started measuring my transfer on the front drawers, which I did correctly, but when I was cutting it, I was not paying attention and I cut it short. And that's not something you're supposed to do if you pay attention. But I wasn't paying attention. I don't know where I was. I wasn't in the room. <laughs> Who knows where I was? In this case, this wasn't a big problem. All I did is cut my transfer a little bit of more and I connected it with one that was already on the drawers. It was a very easy fix, but this is something you should try to avoid, especially if you're working on a big transfer that is all connected. So just, my point is just pay attention. Don't be, just pay attention. <laughs> At this point, I noticed the wood filler from the old holes was visible on the front drawers. So all I did is cut a little leaves from the transfer and place it on top of it. At the end, I protected everything with Annie Sloan clear wax. Yeah. 
and I attach these modern gold legs that I got from Amazon. I pick this beautiful hardware that I got from a TJ Maxx a years ago. It was very affordable and I thought it was a perfect fit for these little cute modern tables. Super cute. And we were done with this makeover. I love how these tables look so fresh and modern and that is why I love painting furniture. With one piece of furniture you can get 25 different looks. 25 different looks or 50 different looks? I don't know, you can get a lot of different looks. We went from orange looking tables stuck in the 80s to very artistic and old world finished tables to fresh and bright and modern tables right now.